Hi, so um, this week has kind of been a bit of a, a stressful one. Um, so I've I've had this issue for a, ooh, must be about a year now trying to get this to work, but um, getting things to properly sync up between different HoloLenses um, has been the bane of my existence, and it's it's really in the last week or so that it's actually finally clicked on how to do that properly um it was all come down to like how i thought about how objects were shared between um different devices it turns out in my head i had it that everything was shared what i didn't realize is that only a certain amount of metadata is actually shared and not the actual materials and things like that so when it came to dynamically downloading an object at runtime um I wasn't able to share the actual object across. I had to actually sort of send a signal to say to the other HoloLenses to download the same object to put it in the same place. That that was the real key in my head that took it so long to try and work out. And I think we're finally getting to the point where things are working properly now. So what I want to do is try and show you that um, using this really basic app, actually. It's just a bunch of buttons uh, and we'll download some some models of um, crystal lattice structure from an online repository um, and we'll do it on two different um, machines although one one will be the whole lens and the other one will just be um, a unity game window so this is the basic setup a bunch, bunch of mineral groups down the sides and i've added this sync button up here to tell to tell the system whether or not I want to sync up the models between lenses or if I just want people to go on their own merry way and do their own thing. So I've set this up right now on the whole lens. Um, I have a sharing server going on my computer. Um, I can access the game if I open up there. There's my head. So at the moment I haven't sorted out the remote head manager to, um, to fix. Um, I can see my head there moving around. I'll sort that out shortly and get that get that working properly. But what I want to do is on the HoloLens, start up the syncing. I'll go to Elements and two objects, um, two more buttons appear. These are also synced. As you can see on the game window, there, there they are. Diamond and graphite set up there. Um, I need to also fix the sync button as well to make sure that that syncs up correctly as well. But now if I click on say diamond, both, oops, um, both the HoloLens has downloaded this diamond crystal structure and on the Unity game window, there's also crystal model structure. Now this is going to be tricky because I've got two things in two different directions, but what I can do is I can rotate on the whole lens and it is actually rotated on the computer as well in real time. So if I try and square this up on the computer, I can actually look over here. I'm actually using the computer to, to rotate and it's rotating on the whole lens dynamically, which is kind of cool. I can turn it off and it switches off on there. You get rid of the buttons and they've gone too. I'll turn off sync. And that's kind of where I've gotten to um, with this application right now. Um, seems to have logged out for some reason must have been an error of some sort. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen again, but uh, get the idea of where I've gotten to with this and uh, hopefully it's good for teaching now.